Thanks to all the great players like Cheryl Swoops, Lisa Leslie, Cynthia Cooper, the great Don Staley, and my basketball hero, Maya Moore. These are the women that kicked down the door so I could walk inside. I hate you. When speaking about the biggest robbery in all of sports, it's not in the NFL, Major League Baseball, Soccer, or even the NBA. The biggest robbery in all of sports is in the WNBA. And here's the thing. It involves two players, one of which is active, and the other one who's long since retired. That, of course, is Cheryl Swoops and her foil being Caitlin Clark. And this beef, this rivalry, is completely one-sided, all coming from one Cheryl Swoops. And the way this rivalry started is actually fairly simple, as Clark, back in college, broke Swoops' record for the most points in the NCAA tournament's history. And Clark breaking that record sent Cheryl off the deep end. Caitlin Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. So people say, dang, like he or she's killing them. But you have a 25-year-old playing against a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like, you, sh you should be killing them. Yeah. It's fiction. It's an urban legend that never happened. Well, Caitlin should have broke that record in four years. But because there's a COVID year, and then there's another year, you know what I mean? So she's already had an extra year to break that record. It never happened. It never happened. We made this one up. Now, let's make one thing very clear. When it comes to any player, any sport, superstar, role player, all-time great legend, none of those players are above critiques. As long as those critiques are based in reality and fact. Swoops in those clips was just lying, not telling the truth, and factually inaccurate. And what Cheryl could have done post those lies is say, you know, I made a mistake, I was wrong, I just had a bad day, had a bad take, it happens. But Cheryl didn't really do that. So for people to come at me and say that I made those comments because I'm a racist, like first of all, black people can't be racist, but like that's the farthest thing from my mind. Um, for me, if Rookie of the Year was picked today, I'd give it to Angel. Will Caitlin Clark come into the WNBA and do what she's doing right now? Absolutely not. This Indiana team, I'm going to say shout out to Lexi Hull. I'm a big Lexi Hull fan. Kelsey Mitchell is just stroking. She is just shooting the basketball. Aaliyah Boston, almost a triple-double. And they're the next two opponents to the wings. Caitlin Clark will be here on Sunday for the week. Averaged 25, and Avisa Collier averaged over 25. That last clip right there from Swoops, that's the most embarrassing. As in commenting Clark's game, she went radio silent when she won Player of the Week. I mean, that's embarrassing from a so-called professional commentator. And in large part, due to that behavior, what did it cost her only a few weeks later? She got booted from Clark's game, Fever vs. Wings, which Swoops was calling. But what did they do? Kicked her out and replaced her with Nancy Lieberman. Now, Nancy Lieberman's attitude towards Clark, much, much different than Cheryl Swoops, as Lieberman went out of her way to highlight Clark and uplift her what she'd done to their league. You know, when I walked in here before the game, there were just hundreds of fans lined up. Oh, yeah. What Caitlin Clark has done for the game is is generational. And I just, as a as a baller to a baller, I just want to say thank you to you, Caitlin Clark. Absolutely. For just lifting our game up, you and so many great players. But what you're doing, you're going to make all these women multimillionaires one day, like Tiger did, like Michael Jordan did. And we shouldn't hate on her. We should celebrate her, not tolerate her. If you want to talk being professional, keeping it classy, and being selfless, that right there is textbook execution. And the contrast of Swoops vs. Lieberman, it couldn't be more stark, as one of them understands the game of basketball much bigger than them and their individual ego. If you actually love women's basketball wanting the game to grow, you would embrace Clark as the face of the game. And what does that mean? It doesn't mean ignoring her bad games, her faults, and the holes in her game. If she goes 2 of 19 shooting, tell her she had a bad game, call her out. You don't have to kiss her butt to uplift her as the face of the game. And if she drops 25 points, wins the player of the week, I mean, just give her a compliment 
Just a baseline, great job, great player, great for the game. For Swoops, her ego is so gigantic, she can't even do the bare minimum when it comes to Caitlyn Clark. And looking back at Nancy Lieberman, she gave an explosive interview with one Stephen A. Smith, giving more insight to Cheryl Swoops and her overall mindset of being bitter. That said, you know, Caitlyn was, you know, 25 years old. She was, uh, however, old, 24 years old. She was a fifth year senior. Right. She was taking 40 shots a game. Her records were illegitimate. And I, I got off the treadmill and I called her as a friend. And I said, you know, you can say whatever you want. You can have your own opinion about anybody, but you do have to get the statistics right. I mean, facts matter. And if you just get ahead of this and just say, hey, I made a mistake on my numbers, then this thing is over and everybody respects you for your opinion. Well, she, she got upset with me on the phone and I was like, Cheryl, you know, I'm not doing anything to hurt you. I'm just sharing. We're, we're talking. And so our relationship it, it pretty much is not happening at this point. I tried to talk to her at the final four. Right. She didn't want to talk to me. Uh, my life's going to be good or great with or without Cheryl Swoops in my life. I'd rather have her in it. That right there from Swoops is honestly astounding. She ended a lifelong friendship, a 10 year friendship over a Caitlin Clark debate, a Caitlin Clark take where she was obviously wrong. This lady's ego has to be so massive, even a friend checking her is considered an offense that is beyond the pale. And here's the bad thing. When you become the female Skip Bayless, you're stuck in that lane for the rest of your life. Skip Bayless back in the day was a respected journalist for the Cowboys, as well as the Bulls. But nowadays, what is everyone known for? Hating LeBron James. Cheryl back in the day, a Hall of Fame basketball player. In 20 years, nobody will remember that. What she'll be known for is hating Caitlin Clark. And once again, the odd thing about these two, it's completely one-sided with swoops, throwing all the punches. Caitlin Clark, not once on my knowledge, has downplayed diminished swoops about anything. Her playing career in college, the pros, or even her commentating career. Not once has Clark made a negative comment about swoops. And to my knowledge, every turn, as it looked at her, her legacy, and what she accomplished back in the day. Cheryl, in return, has thrown mud in Clark's face every single time. Now, the positive thing for Clark, her fans, is the fans of basketball, the negative comments by Swoops haven't affected anything in the slightest. If anything, they amplified Clark, her game, and her impact. As looking back at her college days, the three most watched games of all time feature Caitlin Clark, Iowa vs. SC, Iowa vs. UConn, and Iowa vs. LSU. The most watched draft of all time, who did it feature? Caitlin Clark, 2.4 million viewers. The previous high couldn't crack a million. The 15 most watched games this season, who have they featured 14 out of 15 times? Of course, Caitlin Clark. Indiana's average attendance is just south of 17,000. Compared to the rest of the league, they can't crack 8,000. And numerous cities, that being DC, Vegas, Atlanta, they've had to expand their games to professional basketball stadiums to accommodate Clark, her fans, and her impact. The entire Clark phenomenon, it's not media fluff, media hype. It's tangible, it's real, viewership, ticket sales, merchandise, tangible things that prove Clark is impacting the game like no player before her. Long story short, this whole debacle, Caitlin Clark's name, her legacy, why last Cheryl Swoops in the long run, endure for a career when it's all said and done. As always, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.